Over the last two or three weeks, what we've been doing is been going back over the bending exercises for copper pipe, so P5, P6. The one that actually isn't in the portfolio is what we call a centre to centre bend. Now the centre to centre bend is absolutely vital when we're looking to do the airing covered assessment because in the airing covered you've got the vent pipe that comes from the top of the cylinder, so it will come up from the cylinder, it will then pull a 90 degree bend, continue across and it needs to then find the vent to go inside the cold water storage system which is in the loft. So you would have to find the centre to centre measurement. And the simple way to do that is when we're ready for it, is you would have a piece of pipe sitting in clips already, just a piece of scrap, to enable you then to get your tape measure to measure from the centre of the hole to the centre of the pipe. Now that's not in any books, so it's absolutely easy and vital if you just get scrap at any time. So any form of offset or 90 degree bend you're going to do, just get a piece of scrap in place to enable you to, to have a measurement from. It's okay. So it's for those that are looking to do the centre to centre, Essentially, if we've got our cold water storage tank and then we've got the edge of the wall, we run a pipe up here, it's going to pull a 90 degree bend and then finish inside the cold water tank. Yes? Not below the water line, and we'll go through that when we start looking at those because we want the vent pipe to be above the water line. Are we good with that? So, when we always say we're going to start off with a minimum 90 degree bend, we know that that is about that much below the surface. So for this exercise today, we're not going to work out the formula, we're just going to concentrate on the centre to centre. Now 22 mil, it's tough to pull a bend in 22 mil, all right? So we will be practicing in 15 mil in the tech tight, so you can practice and practice and practice and get it right. But I thought I'd show you in 22 mil because it's easy for the video that's going on. So, if we say, if I said to, to, to Caelan, pull at 90 at the minimum, when someone says that, the minimum, essentially, is just 10 mil of pipe below after the stop. See the pipe stops here, 10 mil there, so it stops it falling out of the stop when you pull the bend. But that's kind of the minimum you could pull. So that's what we're looking at. So if I say, just pull me a 90 to minimum, 10 mil beyond the stop, and then you're going to pull the bend. Obviously as we do, Place the pipe in, the stop goes on, and then the guide. So we have to perform the first 90 degree bend. Now we've worked out that we're going to be below the tank, we've got that size, but just for this exercise I'm going to pull the minimum 90. Okay, now as we know 22 mil, you can't pull it in your arms as much as people think they can. You wouldn't have a vice on site, so we're going to use leverage, leverage. We're going to use the rubber of the feet of the, the arms on the bender, and then we're just going to use our weight to begin to pull the bend downwards. If you can't do that, the easiest way is to place it on the floor and then use your weight to start it to go. If you bend it too quick, what do you think will happen to the pipe? Get the what? The way it kind of like ripples. It ripples. You get a little curve in on it. It looks like a wave ripple in it. And that's because you're bending too quick and it can't take, keep up with the, the form. Is that okay? So just start off gently. Yes? Now what I always do then is I get to the edge of the bench because I know this is longer and then I can travel to the side of the bench. So we're looking to pull a 90 degree bend with the marks on the other side. So we keep checking, keep checking and then we can get on top as if it was on the floor. At this point here we're not quite at 90. So we're looking for this to be the 90 degree bend. It's not quite in the middle of the pipe. Can you see that? Yeah. So we know we've got a little bit further to go. It's absolutely vital to stop before to double check because if you go beyond, 22 mil is a nightmare to pull back. It's easy to go the extra bit rather than try and carry on. So about right now, yes. Or should we go just a little bit more for that spring back? Yeah, a little bit more. A bit more. What do you think, Buzz? A little bit more. Just a tag, and it will be the spring that takes it back. <coughs> so at this point, because it's nearly there, we have to be a bit careful. So I tend to just to lean and take it. Okay. Try the guide out. Try the stop. So then we can check the 90 by using that square. And is it on? 
a little bit too far, isn't it? So two or three mil at that point isn't going to make a huge difference. But if the pipe was long, the secret is stand up and it will sweat, it will sweat back. So now this is the trick to get it right. So we've done this bit, so we went from A to B, yes? Remember that now. And now we need to go from A, a new A, to the next bend point. That's what the B stands for. So if we said we had a centre of 300 millimetres, what we're doing is we're making a centre line and a new centre line that's going to come down that's measured 300 millimetres. So get yourself a square. And the square needs to mirror the bend of the pipe. Can you see now it's coming down just like it is at that end? Do not put the square at an angle off the top of the pipe. It needs to be square. So you can run it all the way along. And the easiest way to do that is put it on the bench, get it looking together, and then hook up the steel ruler. Perfect. Trusting me for a good sight on this one. Little tip. If you can't see it, mark it. Happy? Laying it on the centre line, you can then move the square until that line is in the line of the square and then you just literally get a marker and mark the pipe. George, could you get me another piece of scrap 22 that's behind you please? Sorry, the other side of that wall. Oh, is it there? As I said, behind them at the beginning. Thank you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend this that line, that centre line, comes all the way down and we therefore know between there and there is 300 mil. Okay, so underneath here is a scrap box. And the easiest way to do this is to get a little piece of scrap, put a centre line on it. Remember we've gone A to B, A goes into the bender first, so this B line, the bend line, if you keep it in your right hand you know you've got to go in that way. Let's set up the, the benders again. Pipe goes in, the stop goes on, the guide sits over the top. Now we can lay it down, because what we're going to do is we're going to pull, move <coughs> this line and this line when they match up. So that's the two centre lines. Hold them all together. <coughs> Must make sure it's square, still got some more to go, yes? <coughs> Still a little bit more to go. So it's now square. If I hold that around, I like might move in my hand. But can you see that the lines match up? Mm -hmm. that? Can we bend it yet? So now I can bend it downwards, yeah? No, 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 no. What are we looking for? No, 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 no. What's the square? We're making sure this is square with the handle, because if I bend it now, yeah. The centre the is going to be off skew, so we need to double check, like any offset, like any bend, we're going to be square with the handle. So, if you look back there, you can't really see it. So what I tend to do is get that ruler, and if you hold it there, on the other side, please, pardon. You begin to see the square just bang. What do you think? He's winking at me. What do you think? Yeah. Square? Yeah. So what should, should, are we able to bend it now? Yeah. Or should we just double check? Double check. Double check. Because it's moved around a little bit. So I'm just going to line them up. Look, so they're square still. Okay, and now you just pull the centre again. Remember 22 mil is a lot harder than 15 mil. We're not there yet, are we? Okay. Thanks. Remember, if it's easier on the floor, just bend it a little bit more and wait for it to spring back. And then we're looking for our centre to centre bend. Now if we put that over there, we can now see the mistake. Mm. So when I was asking you, is it okay? And you were going, yeah. Can you see how it's out? Yeah. So we need to be careful of that because it wouldn't sit on top of the tank. 
even though the tank might have a rubber washer for it to go in. Could we, could we put that right? How would we put it right? Okay, so this is where you would need a vice of some description. Always use the long end. Why? So that's got leverage. So fill it in as that holds. And then just hold it here. Make sure the vice is right properly. And you're then looking for square. Okay, so then the double check to make sure is to hold it on. There's our centre line and we're bang on 300, 300 centre. So it's just 290. And then the reason why I've left this one, and the last one is the pass over, which we can do that as well. 22 mil, you only get one shout. And it's tough to do. And it moves around when you're trying to bend it. So we're going to get to do it in tech type. Same parameters, same measurements. So you're going to start off with a minimum, 10 mil beyond the stop. For your 90, check it. Measure 300 mil with a square. You might not have enough squares, so just get that square check. Challenge it up, and we'll leave this as a template because even though it's 15 mil, it should still sit on those centers. Are we all good to go? Okay, so let's get some tech tight, and then we'll do the learners. You can cut that bit there, Jack. Because when you do, so you're filming that? Yeah, yeah, I, I just cut. Okay, so listen, air, the airing cover, so task C1 and C2. C1 is about connecting the cold water storage tank, but C2 is connecting everything else. So we've obviously got the clips in position here, but to get that centre to centre accurately, if you just did a centre up to the wall, then you've got to work out how much from the wall back to the centre of the pipe is. That becomes troublesome. So if you've got a piece of pipe already in the brackets, located up there and fixed, you can now make the centre to centre bend. Yeah? A lot accurate. And I will be testing George Nash on this to make sure. But that you can only get that centre to centre once the cold feed is being connected because the tank will move. If you're out by five mil, it's not going to fit. If that happens, what would you do? Go on, what could you do? Would you do another centre to centre bend and waste no, no. five, five metres of copper? So what could you do? Cut what? Yeah, yeah, put the coupling in. Cut it and put a coupling in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, is it going to hold water, that pipe? Yeah. No, no, it's a vent. There's no water in there, but you'd still have to test it because it is going to allow for expansion of the hot water from below. It's also allowing air in, so when you turn the taps on, the water flows out quite nicely. So you could get out of trouble. But knowing how to set the centre bend, imagine if you're in a loft, trying to solder a coupling on, high probability of fire. So get it right the first time. 